Now it's time to wind a bobbin. Raise the presser foot and move this little black button to the right to pop off your clear view cover and retrieve your bobbin. This machine uses class 15J bobbins. So when you go to the store to purchase more bobbins, make sure you purchase Singer class 15J bobbins. Place your spool of thread on the spool pin and cap it with the spool cap. Bring the thread to this metal guide and clip it in. And then come to the second metal guide and bring it around. Then you'll want to wrap it around the bobbin winding tension disc and come over to the bobbin winding spindle. The bobbin has no designated top or bottom, so insert the thread from the inside out through the top of the bobbin, hold the thread tail, and press the bobbin onto the bobbin winding spindle, and you'll feel it and hear it click into place. Make sure it's all the way on the bobbin winding spindle so that thread doesn't accidentally wind around the spindle itself. Move the spindle over to the right and press the foot control to begin winding. Once the thread tail is buried, clip the tail flush with the top of the bobbin, then continue winding until the bobbin is full or until you have enough thread for your project. When you're done winding, move the bobbin winding spindle back to the left, remove the bobbin, and trim the thread. Now we're ready to put it in the machine. Before you put your bobbin into the bobbin holder, make sure the thread is coming off the bobbin in a counterclockwise motion. Or if there's a thread tail hanging down, it will look like the letter P. P for perfect sewing. Place the bobbin into the bobbin holder. Lightly hold the top of the bobbin and bring the thread behind this metal notch and let it hang to the side. If you've just wound a bobbin, the top of your machine probably looks like this. Let's take the thread off of the bobbin winding tension disc and it's already in metal guides one and two. So we'll come down number two's path, do a U-turn at number three, and back up to the take-up lever. So we're going to go from right to left and back down. Come down and place the thread behind the guide right above the needle. Bring the thread under the hook on the built-in needle threader. Bring down the built-in needle threader and move it so that the prongs encompass the needle. Bring the thread under the prongs, lightly hold the thread to give it some tension, and slowly release the built-in needle threader. Now there will be a loop behind the needle. Just pull that loop, and the needle is threaded. Now we need to draw up the bobbin thread. Hold the upper thread tail in your hand, and turn the hand wheel towards you one complete rotation until the needle is in the highest position. Then pull up on your thread and there will be a loop of bobbin thread. Pull that up and place it underneath the presser foot. Put the clear view cover back on over the bobbin holder and we're ready to test a stitch. The straight stitch is automatically selected when we turn on our machine, so my straight stitch is already selected. Place the fabric under the presser foot, lower the presser foot, and begin sewing.
When you're done sewing, raise the presser foot and trim the threads. And there's our stitch. It looks good on the top and on the back. If your stitches look something like this on the top and loopy, irregular, or full of thread on the back, then you'll need to re-thread your upper thread. You can also check your instruction manual. When sewing a seam, you'll notice on your needle plate that there are lines with markings such as 3 8 and 5 8 Many commercial patterns I use have a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So I'm going to place my fabric under the presser foot in line with the 5 8 mark. Lower the presser foot and sew forwards a few stitches. Now I'm going to press and hold the reverse button to sew backwards a few stitches. Release the button and sew forward along your seam. Notice I'm not pushing or pulling the fabric. I am simply guiding it along the guideline. Stop sewing once you've reached the end of your fabric. Press and hold the reverse button to sew backwards a few stitches. Release the reverse button and sew to the end. Raise the presser foot and trim the threads. And here's our seam. We did reverse sewing at the beginning and end so that our stitches won't become unraveled. Now let's check out how to select a stitch.